I have not. Uh, it's been a damn long time since, since I've seen this game. Are you, you scared, a, Steven? I'm not scared, but I'm <laughs> angry. We have a his. I have a history with this game. Let's just say. <laughs> oh, I remember, <laughs> bro. I think you're gonna crush it. Honestly, I have my full faith in you. Um, I've played this game before, but I've never been able to get through the first level. So you know what? I'm gonna get through the first level. That's what's gonna happen. Bro, this is Steven into tossing existence. down the gauntlet. Tossing down the gauntlet. He's yeah. ready to go. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> but first, let's watch the devil uh, steal our girlfriend. Oh god. Oh wait, was that two? Is that three? Oh, those are just monsters. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, let me get cooked by the devil. That's just yeah, that's effed up. I mean, like, you know, usually, I think, like, they depict the devil as being kind of sexy sometimes. I mean, sometimes, but not often. Come on, are you familiar with the popular television program Lucifer? Lucifer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, rewind function. It's a I mean, new, it's a new the one. Detective is hot. I, I know that. In what? The show Lucifer. Have oh, you, have you watched Lucifer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never seen. I've heard people say it's it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Funny. Uh, now tell me, Kevon. Yeah. <clears throat> Does Lucifer look like that? No. The <laughs> big red furry <laughs> with fucking bright blue wings. Yeah. That's freaking. That's like some Old Testament level. That's, that's just set tripping. Alright. Here we go! Like, honestly, that's not the type of devil that I think would seduce you to the dark side. Really? <laughs> like, Ooh. like, Lucifer is probably oh my God. freaking hot as F. <laughs> well, let's be real. Ah, uh, oh, freak! <laughs> okay. It's gotta seduce you to evil. Steven, you're cr you're crushing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Oh, frick. What are we? Are we um, like we're the knight. Oh yeah. Yeah, remember we're trying to get our girl back from Satan. Oh yeah, and we like break down as we fight, right? Uh, oh, frick. <laughs> nice. <Good> oh. <laughs> They're making all these video game adaptations. Yeah. Make a video game out. Of, I mean, they make a movie out of this guy. Out of Whoa. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, bro, it's already got an epic name built in. I mean, that's not. It's not that great of a name. Oh frick! It's the wolf. Oh, oh god! I forgot the fireball. That guy's hungry like the wolf. I'm oh my god! The frame. Oh! oh. Oh yeah, that is the thing about this game is the frame rate keeps like slowing down. <laughs> As you like oh, jump this sometimes. In his underwear. I didn't even yeah, he notice. lost his armor. One yeah. more hit and like he done. Yeah, that's what going to fight. Oh my god! In your underwear. Look, he needs to save his girlfriend. That's just <laughs> alpha as fuck. Yeah. Oh freak! Yeah, imagine just freaking just destroying demons and monsters in your in your freaking pants, bro. That's what they call underwear in the UK. Isn't that messed up? <laughs> call what? Them the pants. Because your really? outside pants are your trousers. No! And your underwear are your pants. Wait, what? Yeah. Really? It's true. That's so weird. UK, what's wrong with you? Honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. You like know that the what? queen can literally commit any crime? And Wait. She can't be. She can't be punished. Wait, that what? No, that's not real. That's true. The no. queen is immune to punishment. That's not true. It's literally true. <laughs> it's literally true. Frick. Like because justice is served in the queen's name, so, so the she can't like by her by her will. So she so if she was gonna be arrested, she could just say no. No, that's and then like the, cops the couldn't queen arrest is her. literally that's just the justice in that country. Yes, that's insane. But then that's there's no <laughs> checks and balances. It's not called a monarchy for nothing, Steve. <laughs> this is true. Uh, but that's... that's effed up! <laughs> like, literal, like, the queen could literally kill someone, and you can't do anything She could that. literally <laughs> shoot someone on fifth, in the middle of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> like, the, like, the queen is what... <laughs> I'm... Yeah, like, the Ooh. queen literally has a total, literal total power. 
If the queen used her full power... <laughs> if she used the 100... Bro, yes. freaking... The queen literally at any given time uses like 0.5% of her true power. So she's just shaggy. Giving her run for shaggy's money. <laughs> yeah. I... We are old. If Shaggy <laughs> married the queen, it would be the literal greatest power couple in all of history. What about Shaggy and Chuck Norris? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, think Chuck about Norris that. Chuck Norris is kind of a soft boy for Shaggy. No! No! <laughs> I know you brought that up on purpose. I know you did that Shaggy, w Shaggy would, like, grind Chuck Norris's face into the dirt. Oh. I thought... Mm. I... Agreed. Mm. <laughs> He'd grind his bones into bread, bro. <laughs> I sure yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I was freaking looking up the definition of soft boy. Yeah. <laughs> For no good reason. Yeah. No, no. There's a good reason. What was it? Uh I was wondering if I would be considered a soft boy because I think I've been. Oh freaking! Thought you were an uwu soft boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be an uwu soft. Oh freaking Christ! Why, Steven? Soft boys are hot right now. No, they're not. Haven't you looked at TikTok? Or okay, no, I, those are called e boys, and also I got a game over. Huh. I, wouldn't every What's e the difference between an e boy a and a soft boy? boy? I don't know. Okay, uh, well, e Steven, tell us what is a soft boy, just for the folks at home. Um, unfor I, I'm wondering if the definition I got is not true because it sounds off. But um, tell us what you said, what you heard. So what I heard is that a soft boy is like a spectrum. It's basically like a person who has like, um. I was about to say unethical. It's not unethical interests. It's like unusual interests and believes they are superior to others because of them. And apparently it can get... Apparently it can get, like, pretty bad. Where did you read this? I don't remember the name of the website, but thinking about it, I don't think that's a proper freaking... That doesn't that sound like a soft boy. That doesn't sound like a soft boy yeah, at all. Yeah, wouldn't... Okay, so what? A soft boy would be, um... I think, like, a soft boy is, like, um... Is like those those boys that like I can't even really it's hard to describe. Like what would you say that they like? What they're like, that they're, that they're, they're like, like innocent? Boys. They're like innocent boys or something. Yes, they're like, like that? innocent innocent boys who like. I guess they're kind of like e boys. No 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 <laughs> die die. Because they're nice. just like han they're just like handsome but non-threatening in any way. So Izuku Midoriya <laughs> from True. My Hero, My Hero Academia. Well, then again, he is threatening. You say Izuku is a soft boy. Mm. Then again, like no, Izuku's he's not threatening. He can really he you have you ever seen Put him? Put a picture of Izuku Midoriya. He's literally, he has, he's stronger than All Might and can wreck your crap if you... He cries. Well, yeah, but he's not threatening. He cries anybody. literally, like, twice an episode. God damn it, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, so what if he cries? Men cry. I, I didn't ever said they didn't. I'm just saying that it's, I'm just it's saying that when he boy. cries, it's not threatening at all. Okay, but he doesn't always cry. <laughs> <laughs> it happens enough. <laughs> okay, yeah. He doesn't he... always cry. But he, uh, but when he does. <laughs> um, yeah, he does cry a lot, but still, like, he's very. He's like. It doesn't mean he's incapable of, like, hurting, like, hurting people. Yeah, but I've never no, seen him look. I've never seen him look intimidating at all in yeah. the show. I think he's capable of being threatening. <laughs> I mean. Who would you think would be threatening? I mean, he's like strong, but he's not threatening at all. But then what's the point? I mean, then again, his he's not trying to become a hero to be threatening. Yeah. He's not Bakugo. Yeah, I, We're just gonna uh, talk about My Hero Academia for yeah, the rest. <laughs> yeah, Bak honestly, F Bakugo. Wow. It's like he's just doing all oh, freaking you God. really you really clowning on my man's Bakugo, right? Listen, Bak Oof. That's probably that's probably on that demon. That's probably karma, honestly. I was thinking if we cosplay to anime NYC, I'd want to. I I could dress as Shoto. Oh, dude. Uh, oh yeah. Catch us at at anime NYC next <laughs> month. <laughs> right. We're doing a meet and greet. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine. Can't, uh, freaking. Can't wait. Two two people to show up. <clears throat> And it's one I mean, of them. Honestly, that would be the greatest possible outcome of the meet of the twelve plays meet and greet. What to have NYC, two people? Right? Yes. 
Hey, no, we could have like we could have uh, fans who've like just recently. That's like about a freaking us. good percent, pretty good percentage. Come on. Uh, we didn't mention this, but you can only show up if you're a cosplay girl. Uh, <laughs> wow. Brian, Let's... Brian is putting out is putting out um freaking ads for an e for an e girl. I'm going to disagree with that. For a listen, really, I don't for a really cute cosplay girls that come up. Listen, girl. <laughs> uh, listen, girls, boys. I don't discriminate. If you would cosplay anybody, you you fine by me. <laughs> fine by my. Sake. Basically, if you're not cosplaying, you're a basic bitch. Don't show up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and we did not cosplay last year. Did you? Sad. Yeah. What was Anime NYC like last year? Because I didn't go. It was, pretty lit. It was pretty cool. There was a bunch of people cosplaying. There was a bunch of Bowsets. Actually, I didn't oh, see wait, that many actually? Bowsets. I saw, I think that, I saw one, but I think, I know there were more. Yeah, I only saw one, to be honest. It was pretty good, though. <laughs> yeah, there was, um, oh, there was one guy that was dressed as the, uh, the bird guy from My Hero Academia. Oh, uh, was, uh, 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 freaking Tokuyami. Tokuyami. No, freaking, Ooh. oh, it's a, riz that was a, a really wizard. That cosplay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Riddler. R oh, it was the Riddler. The Riddler. It was him the whole time. <laughs> and freaking, um, we went to the we went to the peep show that Andrea was so hyped about going to the Crunchyroll peep show. She just she yeah. just wanted to the night. She just wanted to see boobies. Yeah, it was, we it was all pretty expected funny. more from that though. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it was pretty entertaining just to be there because it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I still have like the tissues that they gave us. When they we gave you tissues. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I'm a baby. How? How? How does that even? It turned me to a baby. I turned away I'm from a literally baby. a Stephen Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically I'm baby. <laughs> well, yeah, there was this because they gave you tissues for uh -huh. your nosebleed. Oh, great! <laughs> for your nosebleed. Yeah, I or still have mouth. them. What? I have not. I have not needed them in the years since. Uh, can, why don't they just teach uh, sex ed and just give you like a condom? <laughs> you think that the people that are going to the Crunchyroll peep show need a condom? <laughs> I, yes, a I, yes, I do. <laughs> Wait, why wouldn't they need what? Because you don't think they're gonna, I don't know, have like have the funny sex or anything? I mean, I, mean, I wasn't gonna go out and say it, but if <laughs> <laughs> listen, weaves. Weebs get action too. Prove it. Uh, Show your work. Uh, <laughs> oh! Ooh, so nice. Have you ever known a weeb that had sex? Never. Uh, don't take my silence as an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, shoot, actually, no. There we go. Oh, god damn it. I didn't even expect that to happen. No. <laughs> Like, I don't think I know any weeb that has had sex. Not that I'm saying that no weebs have sex. I'm just saying in my personal experience, that... I've not seen a weeb that's had sex. Um, okay, but then you just haven't met enough weebs. Maybe that's true. Well, I've met quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if I... Alright, what if I... Uh, got a uh, what if I got a girlfriend or a boyfriend right uh -huh. and they were a weed and we decided to have sex then what I, I mean proof or it didn't happen <laughs> I, I don't how am I supposed to give you proof video camera yeah. I, oh you want me to make a sex tape basically <laughs> I mean you said it we just said video camera that's that's <laughs> making a sex that's basically making a I sex mean, you're tape. the one that's suggesting that you want to make a sex tape no I'm not <laughs> you literally said you word. literally said you want me to make a sex? No, tape. no, no! Oof. Oh my God! No <laughs> way! No way! Have you guys ever actually seen the um the Kim Kardashian Ray J sex tape? I actually I have. Actually, yes. <laughs> really? Yes. I, I was not expecting that both of you would say yes. <laughs> I mean, to listen, be fair, I'm, I'm not Kim I'm... Kardashian. No one wants to like her for her fame, but. <laughs> What, so, wait, She's what are you Kim saying? Kardashian. I mean, what are you saying? What are you saying? I mean, I'll just say, Kim Kardashian is not a great individual, really. I mean, hey, listen, she... I I think she... I don't remember, like, what she went to the White House for, but I remember, like, one time she did. Like, she was trying to advocate for something. Yeah, I just she, don't I remember she was what it was. advocating for... I think it was ASAP Rocky? No, that, no, that was something different. Yeah. yeah, no, that was something different. Yeah. Um, This was, like, I think at least a year ago. Well, I don't, I don't remember what it was, but like, I mean, she's not, she's a, 
She's a woman with values. Well, she has a or, controversial past, I'll yeah, say that. Okay, yeah, to be fair, she has been doing better lately. Yeah, but she has a controversial Advocating past. for, you know, prison reforms and all that. Right. Oh, I think that's what it was, actually. Probably, yeah. that sounds about right. Okay, this might be another wizard. Oh, the sex no, tape. So the sex tape is very funny. For those of you that wait, what do you mean it's it, wait funny? Go look up Kinda the Ray. The, go actually look up the Ray J. Kim Kardashian sex tape. Honestly, if you haven't seen it. A lot of our a lot of younger viewers might not have seen it. I'll actually. Hmm. Then again, like we, I was about to say, like, should our younger viewers even be hearing about this? And then I remembered. Wait, this is a this is uh this is an R-rated channel because we've said the F word a bunch of times. <laughs> and we've talked Oh my god! Oh you jumped right into that. No, like I was gonna get hit by it regardless. I don't think I think I've died like nearly ten times already. Like that's not good. I think the thing with the Ray J Kim Kardashian sex tape is it looks so like unprofessional. I mean I yeah. thought that was like the whole point. Yeah. It wasn't meant to be a professional production. That's true. But it's just like it's not, it's also not very titillating. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of weird. Like, it's just kind of boring. The, the, I mean, I've seen is. better. <laughs> I mean, but then again, like, I, I think that's just a problem with, like, porn in general. Really? That's like, you know, like, everything's ex over exaggerated just to be, like, super stimulating. Or uh, to the point where it's not even realistic anymore. So you think porn is, is not entertaining, Steve? That's not what I'm. That was just a bad corner. I yeah, I was put in a bad place. I mean, honestly, yeah. it bothers. It does bother me when porn is super exaggerated. Yeah, like it gives you the wrong idea of what sex is actually like if you've never experienced it, and yeah. for someone who's like super naive or something. I also noticed that like girls tend to be more turned off by like porn that's very exaggerated because they're like, that's not that girl is not actually yeah. having orgasm. Oh, I mean like. Uh, I mean, it's it's not like outside of porn, like, people don't fake their orgasms. Sadly. Uh, I mean, hey, listen. If the performance ain't up, uh, if the performance ain't it, oh my! <laughs> Are we really Whoa! about to talk about whether, when you should fake your orgasm or not? I, I can't believe we're playing <laughs> Ghouls and Ghosts and this is what we're talking- That's my fourth game over. Okay, Steven, okay. would Wait. you fake your orgasm? <laughs> That's a good question. No. No? No. I mean, can a man fake his I don't, orgasm? Like, I, mean, I, I think, think he can. I think you I just, I, you I mean, could. I think, okay, the way I see it's like, it seems like it's easier for a guy to get turned on than it is for a woman. Hmm, I don't, I don't know about that. No, I, I say that. So. I would say, mm, It's easier, it's easier for a guy to get turned on than a woman. I think, I think so. Hmm. I, I, I think it's, I think it really is. And I guess it, or it depends on the, it depends highly on the person. I think it's. But I'm just thinking. I'm thinking like more often than not is. I feel like with with girls, it's a longer process. Yeah, it's not that it's hard to turn them on. It's just harder to make them climax. Or I mean, it's like, as far as like I'm aware, some girls just don't. Some girls really? don't climax. I've I've heard I've heard that before that, <gasps> that some girls yes like, boy that like oh, some women okay. cannot um like or don't they it's not that they can't it's just that they don't usually achieve orgasm during actual like penetrative sex. It homes they home. <laughs> I have but like they can but like they can make themselves orgasm. Yeah, but like it's just difficult for them to do it with a person with a partner. Oh my god. Wait, um... This armor is freaking awesome. Yeah, dude. You're, like, unstoppable. Dude. Okay, so... Uh oh so What Steven, is with this fucking slow motion? It's a, it's the frame rate. It's yeah. because there's too much happening on the screen. That's the thing with this game. I had, I thought it was just a way to make it harder. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it's a stylistic choice. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just how it's programmed. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> Though I'm not gonna, I'm gonna admit, like, for, for its time, it's a good looking game. It looks good. I mean, yeah. And the difficulty is obviously up there. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, see, the thing about this is, like, this is a sequel to the original game called Ghost and Goblins. And Ghost and Goblins is unplayable. Really? It's like, it's, like, this is hard, but it, 
but it feels like it's not as hard and it just feels more rewarding mm -hmm. than that game. That game is just bullshoot. <laughs> I was about to say, it's just... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I remember this part. Oh, man. Yeah, where... Oh, no. Battle. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude. No. Okay. Yeah, if... Oh, my God. <gasps> the freaking crashing God. waves. Um, yeah, but this time I made it. Does that instant kill you? Yeah, it does. Oof. Oh, frick! Oof. That's scary. Oof. That is nice. so scary. God, if only Finn had been in here, we could have used a lifeguard. Am I right, guy? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so am I just gonna start from the beginning again? Oh my god, of course I am. That is Suck. unfortunate. I, that's like the farthest I've ever gotten. <laughs> Wait, first Steven, level. you're saying you would not fake your organ? I would not. I mean, I... Okay, like, I gotta... I gotta think about it. Like, like I honestly it? don't think there's, like, any situation where I'm going to... I'm going to want to fake my orgasm. Like, well, why do well, why do like some people do it, right? Why Be do like some girls do it? Because like the sex just isn't doing it just for them, hitting. and they just want to get it over with. Sometimes it just don't be hitting. I mean, yeah, <laughs> honestly. I mean, yeah, but like I, I don't know. It's like I don't, I don't think I need to fake it. I think like no matter what, mm -hmm. like I'm gonna be able to reach it. I think, well, you, you say that, but, like, I think that sometimes there is, like, a pressure where, like, hmm. oh, you think, oh, I should, I should, you know, go all the way. Uh-huh. But, like, sometimes you can't at the moment, I think. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I guess it's possible that, like, people like, can suffer from... Or, like, your partner is, like, expecting it, but you're, like, not there yet, but you just kind of are like, oh, man, I should just do it. That sounds like performance anxiety. I Or, like, I think... Now that I think about it, maybe a reason for like faking, like, faking it would be due to performance anxiety, and like you just can't, like you just can't do it. So yeah, I it's think like, sometimes yeah. it's like people's part. People think that their partner is expecting it, mm -hmm. right. and so they're like, "Oh, I should just do it because I don't want to disappoint them." Well, then in that case, then communication is a pretty important thing, right? Yeah. Of course. Uh, speaking of communication, I'm gonna communicate how much I hate this level. Please do it, Steve. <laughs> Tell right. us how you really feel. This game, right. this game actually isn't bad. It's a, I, I think it's, I, I like the way, I really do like the way it looks. I think it, I think it, the, the aesthetic is like very on point. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, and honestly, I don't think it's, it's very difficult, annoyingly difficult. But I honestly, like, most of the time, I don't think it's unfair. You think it's too hard? No. Because, like, even though I've died a lot of times already, I still feel like I can, like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. In Ghosts and Goblins, I gave up because I I felt like I couldn't do it no matter what. Right. But here you, like, you get the sense, okay, I can do this. Yes. So it's keep going at it. Right, yeah. It's like, there's no sense of hopelessness here. Like, like, given, oh, freaking, given, like, practice, mm -hmm. enough practice, I can do this. It's just about, like, understanding the way the game works. That's a great, just, like, lesson in life. Bro. Why? Like, you know, it's not hopeless. If you just keep working at it, keep making yourself stronger and better, you know, even if it is a very difficult yeah. challenge, you can overcome it. You know? Well, I mean, he he died, so he can't. Overcome yeah, but that you'll anymore. come back. I mean, yeah, he. This guy You've just got another guy. <laughs> I... So really, the first guy lost his girlfriend forever. <laughs> Is the, by that logic, <laughs> just his son keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> what if every guy is just the the son of the previous guy? So right now, this would be the original guy's great great grandson. Damn. Have you guys seen that? Um. Uh, this is gonna date this, but there's like a, a new Ryan Reynolds movie called like New Guy. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, like Free Guy. Free Guy. That's free. What it is. Yeah, Free Guy. Put a picture of that uh of the poster up. Yeah, and it's like Ryan Reynolds realize is like he realizes he's a character in a video game. That's isn't that just sure. like a real life Isekai? Oh, you don't. Oh. I mean, oh, is that the, the anime trope? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, of like it yeah being be. transported to another world. I don't. I don't know if it's like that. I mean, I haven't seen the. I don't think that is the trailer even available online. I, no, I don't no, think it I, would be considered that because 
Isakai, you have to transfer, but he's already in the game. He yeah. just realizes he is a game. Oh, it's oh, it's like so. It's like becoming self-aware. Yeah, yeah. it's like the Matrix, or it's like yeah. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Wreck It Ralph. Or eh. I don't know. I've never I mean, seen well, then, well, in Wreck It Ralph, they're they're they are like yeah. be, just being in a game is just part of life. In that. yeah, like they're uh, aware of it. And that's just like something that they accept. Yeah, they're like the toys in Toy Story. Right? Yeah, where they uh, haven't they don't have an existential crisis about being a toy. Uh huh. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, except for Buzz Lightyear yeah. in the in the first one. For some reason, Buzz Lightyear thinks that he is real. That oh, might that might cool. be a defect. Like what? Have you have you ever thought about like why does Buzz think? Why do Buzz Lightyear doll or does every toy yeah, it initially is. think that they're real? I, I don't mean, know, but we but we do know that every like we do know that it seems like the 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 original Buzz Lightyear is not the only Buzz Lightyear to get that feeling. It might just be a thing with I think with like all like Buzz Lightyear. Well, I think in the first for movie, all new toys because even like, Sporky. Or oh, what, Forky? Uh, like um, I watched, I literally just watched Toy Story 4, like, two days ago. Um... I like Toy Story 4, <laughs> am I right, guys? Bro. <laughs> that's why they made Forky, because it sounds like 4. Oh, I thought I, he wouldn't land on me. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go a different way. I was wondering when you were gonna do that. R.I.P. to the last okay, guy, but I'm different. Die. What is What this? the hell?! I was hitting him! Not hard enough, so many apparently. Times. <laughs> What? I mean, but it bust to oh! We killed each other. Oh, impossible. <laughs> Finally, bow. No, no! God damn it! I think I can only take like one more game over. So, what would you guys do if you found out your toys were alive? I, hmm. I'm not sure because then it's like, okay, so like the toys in Toy Story, like they were quote-unquote good or like they they didn't have malicious intent toward their kids right yeah like that's that's already a bad start actually i just lost my armor um oh no that's a really bad start um i uh, uh yeah um i would just feel weird about all the stuff that my toys would have seen <laughs> oh my god yeah it's like i yeah, it's like, what exactly did you see from me? What, and what if they just... And what if it turns out they, that they look at you with disgust? No. <laughs> what if but your you toys know, were every, disgust? Everyone's seen That's the so jokes. That's heartbreaking, though. Everyone's <laughs> seen the jokes, but, like, you know, Andy's... Andy had those toys for a while. He was growing up. Oh, what? So, like, oh, what? You think they, they caught him? Uh, I mean, I, I think, think it's hard it. to think that they couldn't have. I mean, unless he just didn't. L listen, what if... Uh, I was about to say, what if he's asexual, but I realize that doesn't stop someone from... From, uh... Yeah. From, from... Playing a little pocket hockey. <laughs> yeah, from... Yeah. Or pocket pools. <laughs> pocket hockey. You think, or like, hi Andy... or hide the zucchini. It's hide the zucchini. These things when you bring Andy's oh, sexual isn't that when discovery? Have discovery? Sex. Uh oh. What if he had se Oh! God damn. What if Andy had sex? <laughs> Bro. It's a stupid sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what if and what if the Buzz and Woody met met Andy's mom's toys and they had the same <laughs> names? What? No, bro. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. And what if they had the same name? Oh Buzz. My God. No, I just got Buzz. <laughs> No, <laughs> bro. What if mom's toys talked? Oh, the stories what they, they could tell. Oh, they were like, "You guys think y'all have it rough? <laughs> <laughs> you know how my day was." That's a new one. Oh shoot! It's a that's new just, weapon. That's just freaking sausage party all over again. Oh my right? god! <laughs> I didn't even watch Sausage Party, dude. It was so funny. It was. It's a. It's really weird. It it's a very is. weird movie, like that it even exists. Like a freaking nah! A freaking Dang. used condom is alive in that. Like the rules of the world of this Sausage Party. This game is party, literally broken. You can't break him. I can't defeat that guy. Um. I'm sorry. What the rules of the world of Sausage Party don't really make sense. Is it? Yeah, isn't it like they're no. just alive, like the way the toys from Toy Story are alive? Yes and no, because like <laughs> because they're alive, but people can't see them move. Oh, and like 
but, and like, they can, it's implied that they can also do things that food can't do in the real world. So it's just really weird. What? It's like the rules of Sausage Party legitimately don't make sense if you think about it for any amount of time. Yeah. So it's like they're different from the toys in like they can move, they can actually move and do stuff. Yeah. Come on! Bro! Like, watch that's like, this watch scene, Sausage Party and no! try and tell me how the world works in that. In oh, that I'm F. Oh, I'm F. Wait! You gotta go out swinging. Oh. That's well, exactly what he did. <laughs> Steven, oh. come on, buddy. You did good. I didn't make it. <laughs> you didn't make it. Look, next time. On 12 plays. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Dean. Give us a hug. Oh, oh, come back stronger. Yeah. It's, it's, See you next week, folks. Three, two, one, go! Yeah.